In order to enter the virtual session for the Writing Center, simply go to the email that was sent to you when you scheduled your appointment. It will look something like this. Inside that email, there is a link to our virtual space. Uh, the link is daytonastate.adobeconnect.com slash cwcvirtual. Click on that link, and you'll be bright with this window. In the box where it says enter as guest, simply enter your name and hit enter room. Once you do that, it'll take a few minutes to load. And once it does, you'll see a few things here. Over here are the list of attendees. Writing Center will be the Writing Center consultant. Down here is the chat window. You can type anything you need to here. One of the first things that I like to do is to make sure that I connect my audio. And in doing so, it will allow me to use my microphone and talk. When I talk, or when anyone talks, over on the presenter's pane, it will list the microphone when somebody is speaking. The last thing you need to do is share your document, to which you need to make sure that you have your document open. So let's do that. All I will do is go into Word, and I will open my document that I need. And now that I have that, I will go back to my session. I'll hit share my screen. And a few windows will pop up. Um, these are all different windows that are open down here in my um, pane. But I'm going to look for the one that has the word icon in it, because that is my document. Once I select that, I will share it. And now the screen will change a little bit so that it is uh, like so. From here, my tutor can see everything that I'm doing. I can move my mouse. I can make changes, select things. And we will do the session in normal time. If you need to refer to the chat window, simply bring up this window right here. And from there, you can chat. And then from there, your session will go on as normal. Now. One other consideration is that sometimes when you're in the main window, um, when you first start the session, it might ask you to install a plugin. If so, simply go ahead and then it will reopen the window. And if that happens, you may need to reconnect your audio as well. Enjoy!